Hi, I'm Albert. Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, I'm Jazz. Hi, I'm Toby. Welcome to Gamer State. Hey yo, what is going on you guys? It's Toby here from Gamers Take and yes, I know it's been about a week since we posted another video um, and yes, we are going to review um, Metal Gear so stay tuned for that. Um, it's just I'm trying to get my friend to come over so we can finally shoot the video but for right now, let's talk about Madden 16. Now, I'm a big uh, Madden fan. It's a fun game, you know, fun to play with your friends here now and again. Um, but, you know, obviously Madden has been uh, pretty stingy with the upgrades. It's usually just another roster update, you know, stuff like that. We get one or two things here. I think this time around, EA has finally got their shit together and actually created a really good game. Uh, reasons why this Madden just seems like it's more fun. It's more fun than it's been in the, in the, in the other Maddens. And the reason why I say that is now because there is a whole lot more competition between the offense and defensive side of the ball. And what I mean by that is there is actual um, <coughs> uh, fighting going on, uh, you know, uh, uh, how do I say this, competitive fighting between uh, your wide receivers and your defensive backs. You know, now you actually see actual hand fighting, you know, there's a lot more competitiveness to go after the ball. You know, now it's not a whole likely chance that, you know, your receiver is just going to let the guy go and pick the ball off. No, now he's going to kind of, you know, just kind of knock it out the air. And sometimes the defender will even knock it up into the air to see if somebody else can, can intercept it. Those things that I, uh, I've i seen in the game, and it's actually really fun to see, you know, what, you know, um, you know, I didn't get the pick, but, but can somebody else can. You know, that's the one thing I like about this game. It's very... Um, it's there. It's not one-sided anymore. It can be very uh, competitive. Uh, one thing else that I've uh, liked about this game is now that height actually matters in this game. Before, you know, you had Calvin Johnson. He can probably go up for it. You know, come down with it. Maybe about maybe I don't know, 60, 40 percent of the time. Now it's a whole lot more different. Now you guys have, if you guys have like guys like Calvin Johnson. Uh, Mike Evans, guys that are 6'5", or, you know, 6'5", uh, even up, if there's even <laughs> if there's any players like that. Uh, now, it's very, uh, how do I say this, uh, abusive, I guess you can say, uh, to uh, defensive players. Because now, if you just throw the ball up, now, you guys, you, got, you have a guy like Gronk, he can just go up there, uh, pluck it out the air, one-handed, you know, you get a lot of those... Uh, smooth animations that we did not have in last year's game. In last year's game, it was very robotic. You know, you could, it looked very weird. I don't know. It's just it didn't look good. This time around, they fixed it. Everything looks really smooth, and that's one thing I like about it. The catch animations are great. Um, the defensive play between uh, gang tackling now. Uh, before it used to be just like one player actually made the tackle, and like other people just kind of like. <coughs> <coughs> uh, surrounded them, I guess. This time, it uh, gang, ta uh, gang tackling actually matters. Um, and what I mean by that is, if you guys have like uh, a running back like Eddie Lacy or like Garrett Blunt, this is another problem. I, this is a one problem I actually have with the game. Uh, I'm gonna get to get to it later. Is that um, gang tackling? If you're trying to tackle a big back like that, you actually see two players hold. Uh, hold the back in place and you see like somebody else go low <coughs> to actually like get get them at their knees to really tackle them that's one thing i really like about this game you actually see people making an effort to try to tackle somebody now getting to the uh, uh the big backs uh and the whole thing like that one thing that they, they did not add into this game is uh weight and what i mean by that is that if you have a big back like Eddie Lacy, if you have some uh, somebody like Garrett Blunt running the ball, they're still gonna get tackled, like with one guy tackling them. To, I don't know why. Um, sometimes you get a cool little truck animation, but you know it's not uh, it's not highly likely that you're gonna get it. It's uh, the trucking system has changed from every Madden since uh, Madden 25, where it was you used just to 
just like completely run over somebody. Then in Madden 15, you actually had to make an effort trying to tap, trying to truck somebody over. And then now this time, it's, it's the trucking animation is still there. It still looks good. The only thing is that if you have a guy like like that's like, I think like Eric Blunt is like six foot two sixty. You know, he's almost an offensive lineman, like a, a very undersized offensive lineman or a tight end running the ball. And that he's a guy that really just runs people over, shreds, uh, shreds tackles off, and we still don't get that here. That's one of the main problems I have uh, with this game, but it's not too much of a big issue, I guess you can say. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Madden's uh, new uh, feature that they added to the game, and that is uh, Draft Champions. I got a chance to play Draft Champions and it's freaking awesome. It's a freaking awesome addition to Madden. It's, you know, it's kind of like you never know what you're going to get every single time you play it. Um, they made it very fun and I, uh, with the way they went about it, you know, 15 rounds, you get 15 players that you get to pick one legendary player or if you get really lucky, you get two legendary players on your team. They, the way they did this is you have three rounds you have to get to. You have to get through. You can only lose one time, but I like how it's only three games you get to play with your team. And I like the way they've balanced it. You know, you face a team that has the skill set and the players such like a Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, not very good, but you know, can probably still score a touchdown or so. Then you get into the middle of the bunch where <coughs> It gets a little bit more competitive, and then now the last team is one of the is probably one of the harder teams. Good running back, good receivers. It's a lot harder to try to defend against a team like that, and I like the way they went about it. Uh, Mutt is still very fun to play. Um, one thing I didn't like about last year's Mutt was that if you did solo challenges, you know you weren't playing against another player. It ate up your contracts. This time around, I think they kind of fixed it. The, from what I've gotten uh, a chance to play is, uh, I've done the solo challenges and they don't use up contracts, at least not to what I've seen so far. Um, you know, they keep the contracts for every player. Um, so that's one thing I like, you know. I like to have my players, I like to keep them around as long as they possibly can. Um, but I do, uh, I do think if you do play another player uh, online, then I do think your contracts do get eaten up. But I think there it makes more sense. And that's pretty much it for Madden 16, guys. Um, so far, I like the game. Um, not a whole lot of bugs, at, le at least from what I've been able to see. Maybe maybe one or two here. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to leave off is a uh, connected franchise. And this time, you don't get a chance to uh, play you know, the, the Pro Bowl, which I think a lot of people actually want to, <coughs> they actually want to do. Um, but now this time you don't get to you don't get to play the preseason. I actually kind of like that. I never did play the preseason to begin with. Um, so now you just get you just jump straight into the regular season. One issue that I do have with it is that in Madden 15 you got the chance to import your own roster, no matter how OP it was or who you had on your team. You can literally pick 53 players and get rid of one team's 53 players and just plug in your own. This time, I feel like there's a bug or something wrong with it that doesn't allow you to do that anymore. For whatever reason it is, um, I think the most players you can import is about maybe 10. Uh, it's like one quarterback, one running back, or uh, so many players that you can put into free agency and pick them up. The other players that you try to import actually get picked up by other teams, but they weren't on free agency to begin with, which is one of the weird things I got a chance to, which is one of the weird things that I've seen in this game. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a bug or something, um, but it's a small issue. Again, you get, you do get to pick, pick about ten players. Uh, like I said, one quarterback, running back, two wide receivers. Uh, I think two. Linebackers. I don't think any defensive linemen that, I got, I, that I've seen, and I think one cornerback or two cornerbacks, I don't really know. Um, it kind of varies from every time you try to import players, but it's a small issue. But you know, it's, I think it's one you can kind of overlook. Uh, but, anyways, let's get, let's wrap this whole thing up, guys, and let's actually uh, rate this game. Again, it is a sports game, there's not a story, even though I kind of would like to see one. You know, even WWE kind of gives us a, a bit of a story to go along with the game. 
Um, but I have to overall give this game about a about an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I was going to say 7 out of 10, but I think Madden has done good with this game. EA has done good with this game. Um, a whole lot of things that they've added to this game that I think is actually one of the best Maddens I've gotten a chance to play um, in a long time. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, by all means, hit that like button, and if you thought this video completely fucking sucked, then by all means, you guys know what to do. There's a dislike button right down there for you to press. It's okay. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.